So UNC's season ended yesterday with the loss in the championship game, but in just a few days, five Tar Heels will get the chance to play in a tournament on the international stage. Paul Beam has more. UNC field hockey is one of the most accomplished athletics programs in the country. This year's team has been no exception, and as a result, five Carolina field hockey players have been selected to represent the United States at the 2016 Junior World Cup in Santiago, Chile. It's really exciting. It's awesome um, to have something to look forward to after the Final Four, since it's immediately after. Um, it's cool that it's a different group of girls, some that will be at the Final Four on different teams. Um, so it's cool to come together and play for another championship right afterwards. These five Tar Heels are the newest of what has been a long lineage of former Heels who have gone on to play for the U.S. national team. Head coach Karen Shelton says this is a huge advantage on the recruiting trail. We absolutely use it in recruiting. Not only uh, do, you know, do we have junior national team members on our team, but our former players have gone on to the Olympic team. So we had five Tar Heels on the uh, Rio Olympic team. We consider ourselves uh, a breeding ground, so to speak, for the national team. Shelton herself was a member of the U.S. national team from 1977 through 1984. So she knows how valuable this experience is for her players. It's helpful that um, Coach Sheldon helps us in scheduling and is super understanding of our um, you know, schedules and, and tournaments and she'll come and support us. It's fair to say that the conflicting schedules of the two teams can interfere with the players' practice time with their UNC teammates, but Coach Shelton likes to view it in a different way. I've always considered it a win-win, so if they're off with the junior national team practicing and, and getting better when they're away, someone else is in their spot, you know, gaining additional experience, and when they come back, we're better all the way around. So in other words, be prepared to see even more current and former Tar Heel field hockey players donning the red, white, and blue. In Chapel Hill, I'm Paul Beam reporting. Well, at least some good news coming from the field hockey program, and if you want to catch those Tar Heels in action, the U.S. plays its first game of group play on Thursday against Zimbabwe.